Okay, hi, this is Mr. C, and I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use the type tool in Photoshop. So to save me some time, I've moved the two photos that I'm going to use on the desktop. And I have two because I haven't decided which one I'm going to do. One is in color and one is in black and white. So I'm just going to go up to my spotlight, type in Photoshop, click to open it, click on the dead space to access my photos. I'm just going to highlight those and drag them over the Photoshop icon. And I'll just expand this window a little bit and you see I have the two photos here but to save me some time with the text tool I would like to put these two photos into the same window so I'll take the second photo here and I'm just going to press command A to select all and then command C to copy and click on the other file and then I'm going to press command V to paste and I'm going to close this one and you can see I have the two images here I have the color one and the black and white one so I'll change the title of this one simply by double clicking it and I'll just call it BW for black and white and this one here it's locked so I'll just double click to unlock that and I'll change that one to color click OK and I'll turn them both on for the time being now because this layer is on top it's showing first so if I want the color on top instead I would simply click hold and drag that on top so whatever is on top is kind of the, the image that is closest to you that you can see so to access the type tool you'll see it is located over here and it's same as in most uh, document processors it's the letter T I'm just going to click that and then you can see a whole uh, series of tools up here that changes and to just start typing I could just click point and actually start to type some text and whatever font I have used in the last time is what will show up so you see I'm using uh, Adobe MT condensed it's regular the size is about 145 and that's kinda all you need to know at this stage so I don't like this font so I'm just going to double click to highlight it all simply go up here use the drop down window select a font you want and what you should remember for your project is that your font should help communicate what your image is trying to say basically and try to enhance, enhance your work so you should consider what size font you're using what style etc so you see it's kinda cut off there and uh, depending on what size you want I could go to here and you see it only goes up to 72 so all you have to do for that is if you see when I move the the mouse here you get these arrows that are left and right so that means I can just click and hold the click and slide to the right if I wish to make it bigger and click and hold the opposite direction to make it smaller so I'm going to make it slightly bigger and I'll go up to about 190 and if I wish to move this around I simply go to the black arrow here and click and then I can just click and drag it so we have a problem here that it's running off the page and or off the photo and if you need to have some text enter onto a new line you will need to go into that and simply press return to create that on a different line so as you can see when I click nothing is really happening and if you notice when I added the text a new layer was created down here which actually shows uh, what the text says so I'll need to go back to the text tool click on that and then I can click within here and I'll just click here press return and it'll go to a new line go to the black arrow if I wish to move it around so it can be kind of cumbersome so I'm going to go back to the T and you can see it's a centered alignment here so we have our other options available over here as well and if you need to click and move that around you would actually have to go back to the black arrow and back to the type tool so I'm just gonna highlight all of this here keep it at centered for now of course I'll have to click and move it back go back to my type tool and if you wish to change the color just highlight all the text and you can use just click on here and select the color you want click OK and you can you can see it there now if I wanted to have another line of text or like a subtext or something you could go here and press return and 
type that new line, but if you wanted something completely separate or something independent that you can move around separately, if you hold the command key as well as return, and you can see now I can just start, I can click and start typing in a new section. And I can move that there, and if I wish to change the size of that one, simply highlight again and go up to here. and decide where I, I want it placed. Another option to transform your text, which I don't really recommend, is if you go to Edit and Free Transform, you'll see you get the boundary box around, and if you click and drag those arrows, we can also alter it, it that way and I'll just click apply and I don't like that so I'm just going to delete it you see the other layer of text was also deleted so if you go back to the type tool you'll notice this little toolbox right up here this can be quite useful if you click that you can get your character options here and this is also another shortcut if you wish to change some of the font and how it looks but you would also be able to alter these and so if this is currently a 200 and if I type in 400 you see it spreads out the text a bit I'm just going to command Z to edit undo that and here it's at 100 percent if I change that to 200 we can get some interesting effects with that as well so you can play around and explore that and of course here you have your default of standard and italics and things like strike through and stuff like that. So good luck and look forward to seeing your work. Okay, one thing I forgot to remind you of is that when you are complete and you have your text inserted over your photo, uh, you should save it. So if you go to File, Save As, change the title as described to you in class. Uh, it's easiest if you leave it at the desktop and you'll want to change the format to a JPEG. Uh, don't worry about these warning symbols that come up. Click Save. Keep the quality at high. Click OK. And it'll appear on your desktop like this.